Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Bikram's beginning yoga class. Nice to see you. Stand up on your mats, please. Awesome. Nice looking class. Now let's go ahead. We begin with pranayama breathing, deep breathing, good for your lungs and respiratory system. Inhale by your nose, exhale by your mouth. Inhale and exhale should be through the throat. Breathe as much as possible, as long as possible, as slow as possible. Breathe in by the nose, out the mouth, all the time through the throat, the nose and mouth only passageways. Everybody feet together, toes and heels touching each other. Interlock all 10 fingers underneath the chin. Nice, tight grip. Make sure your hands touch your chin like the glue. Nice and relaxed shoulders. Look in the front mirror. Concentrate. Meditate. Inhale, head down. Arms up. Start, please. Elbows all the way up to the ceiling. Full lungs. Inhale. Exhale, head up. Push your head back. Eyes open. Or you might feel dizzy. Look back. Try to see the back wall. Elbows forward. Elbows touching each other away from the chest. Good. Inhale, head down, stomach in, chest up, spine straight, elbows up as high as possible, shoulders might hurt a little bit. Exhale, head up very slowly, push your hands on your chin, look back until you see the back wall. Elbows forward, elbows touching each other. Inhale, head down, one, two, three, four, five, six, hold it. Exhale, head up, one, two, look back, three, four, Five, six, elbows touch, hold it. Inhale, head down, stomach in. And the more you suck your stomach in, you use your lungs more. Exhale, head up, push your head back. Keep the stomach in, spine straight. Only arms and head move. Elbows forward as far as it goes. Inhale, head down, stomach in. Depression of the abdominal wall. Suck it in, tightening up. Hold it in, all lungs Exhale, head up, push your head back. Very slowly push your hands on your chin. Look way back. Try to see the back wall. Shoulders relaxed. Elbows forward. Elbows touch each other. Inhale, head down. Suck your stomach in. So much stomach in. Stomach in. Stomach in. Rib cage visible in the front mirror. That's the way. Exhale, head up, push your head back. Keep your stomach in. Push your hips forward. Shoulders relax. The deltoids coming forward with the shoulder blades. Scapulae. Inhale, head down. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hold it. Exhale, head up. One, two, stomach in. Three, four, five, six. Elbows touch. Inhale, head down. Use the throat. Inhale and exhale through the throat. Nose and mouth, just the passageways. Full lungs. Exhale, head up. Push your head back. Look back. Way back, shoulders relaxed, relax the shoulders, elbows forward, elbows touch each other, good. Inhale, head down, two more first set, stomach in, extra strength, stomach in, stomach in, rib cage sticking out either side of the chest, look in the mirror, exhale, head up, push your head back, now look for the back wall, weight in the heels, in the shoulders relaxed, shoulders forward, elbows forward, away from the chest, inhale, head down, big breath, stomach in, suck it in, suck it in. Suck it in, stomach, 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 all lungs. Exhale, head up, push your head back, empty your lungs. Empty your lungs completely, all the air out, all the way out, all the way out, all the way out. Elbows touch, that's enough. Arms down by your side, all right. Swallow a couple of times, lick your lips, relax your shoulders, second set, feet together. Interlock all ten fingers under the chin, nice tight grip, thumbs included. Relax your shoulders, look in the front mirror, concentrate one point. Inhale, head down, arms up, start again. Now stomach in, right from the start, stomach in to open up the lungs more, fill up the lungs, full lungs. Exhale, head up, push your head back, keep the spine straight. Only arms and head move, look back, elbows forward, elbows touch each other. Inhale, head down, one, two, three, four, five, six, hold it. Exhale, head up, one, Two, three, four, five, six. Hold it. Inhale, head down, stomach in, chest up, spine straight, elbows up as high as possible. Exhale, head up, push your head back, look back. Shoulders relaxed, 
Look back, way back, elbows forward, elbows touch, thumbs crossed to the end, tight grip. Inhale, head down. Each inhale, try to take in more air than the last time. More and more and more and more. Exhale, head up, push your head back. Push your hips forward, solid, concrete hips, muscles. Exhale all the air out, elbows touch. Inhale, head down. The more the lungs opening, the more you're holding the air in the lungs, the more you improve the elasticity of the lungs. Exhale, head up, push your head back. Now all the air out. Empty the lungs completely on the exhale so you can take in maximum fresh oxygen on the inhale. Inhale, head down. Big breath. Now keep trying to make yourself feel a little bit dizzy. Oxygenating the body, filling up the lungs, improving capacity of the lungs. Exhale, head up, push your head back. All the air out. All the way out. Suck the stomach in to push the air out. Elbows touch each other. Three more. Inhale, head down. One, two, three, four, five. Six, hold it. Exhale, head up. One, look back. Two, three, four, five, six. Elbows touch. Inhale, head down. Stomach in, chest up, spine straight. All lungs inhale. Exhale, head up. Push your head back. Look back. Now synchronizing arms and head. Very good. Elbows forward. Elbows touch each other. Inhale, head down. Biggest breath of your life. Suck it in. Tightening up. Tightening up, stomach in, chest up, full lungs a little bit more. Exhale, head up, push your head back. Now, take your time. Satisfy yourself that your lungs are completely empty, no air left. Then the elbows touch, the arms down by your side. Good start. All right, so from now on, normal breathing in through the nose, out through the nose. Half moon pose with hands to feet pose. Ardha Chandra Asana with Parahastasana. Everybody feet together, nicely toes and heels touching each other. Arms over your head sideways, palms together. Interlock your fingers, release your index fingers, thumbs crossed. Keep tight grip all the way up to the wrists like the glue throughout the entire posture. Stretch up to the ceiling, right and left several times. Right and left, right and left, right and left. And you should feel stretching down both sides of the body all the way up to the fingertips. In other words, you are trying to touch the ceiling when you can't stretch anymore. Please stop in the middle. Elbows locked, arms always touching with your ears. No gap between biceps, arms and ears. Push your hips forward a little bit towards the mirror, opening up hips and pelvis. Everybody leaning back a couple of inches, opening up chest and ribcage. Throughout the posture, maximum body weight on your heels. Arms and head back, chin up. Concentrate one point in the mirror. Don't even blink your eyes. Inhale, breathing, full lungs. Hold the breathing, stretch up out of the waist. One more time, try to touch the ceiling absolutely straight line, slowly bend your body to the right without bending your elbows or your knees. Continuously push your hips to the left beyond your flexibility, trying to create a tremendous stretching feeling in the left side of the body, all over, inside out, from the bones to the skin, fingertips to the toes, hips more forward, upper body back more, weight in the heels. Push your left hip forward so your both hips in one line, right shoulder forward, opening the chest like flower petal blooming, come down and push and push and push, inhale, breathing cup, stop in the middle, palms together, tight grip, elbows locked, no gap between biceps, arms and ears, inhale, breathing, stretch up by the waist, try to touch ceiling, absolutely straight line, slowly bend your body to the left, without bending elbows, without bending knees, continuously push your hips to the right, beyond your flexibility, trying to create tremendous stretching, feeling, think of it, all over, inside out, bones to skin, fingertips to the toes, hips more forward, upper body back more, weight in your heels, push your right hip forward to both hips in one line, left shoulder forward, opening the chest, look the elbows, bust, squeeze the palms, come down and push and push and push, inhale, breathing, come stop in the middle, backward bending, your back's going to hurt. Don't be scared. Take a deep breath for lungs. Drop your head back as far as it goes. Eyes open and look at the floor behind you. Arms back immediately. Try to touch the wall behind you. Bend your spine backwards from coccyx to the neck. Lower back, middle back, upper back, total spine backward bending. Push your upper body back. Try to fall down backwards. Maximum body weight on your heels. Inhale, stomach, legs, hips, everything. Push forward towards the mirror. Arms back. Look back. Fall back. Way back. Go back. More back. Inhale, come up. Stop in the middle. And next is Padahastasana. Hands to feet pose. Bend your knees. Put your hands on the floor in front of you. 
Move your hips several times, right and left, right and left, right and left. Make sure your lower back is nice and loose, comfortable, easy, flexible. This is you turn from back bending to forward bending, but a little bit careful, spine not warmed up yet. Right and left, right, left, right, left, right, left. Keep trying to keep heels down, bend one knee, bend the other knee. Opening up the hips, the hamstrings, right, left, right, left. Right, that's enough. Feet together, toes and heels touching each other. Grab your heels from behind underneath your heels, stepping on all five fingers of each hand, two little baby fingers touching each other side by side, elbows behind your legs on your calf muscles throughout the posture. Please don't lose the grip. Pull your heels as hard as possible and stretch your body down from the lower spine towards the floor. Touch your stomach, on your thighs, chest on your knees, face on your legs below the knees. From this side, you should look like Japanese. Ham sandwich, no gap anywhere. Slowly push your knees back as hard as possible. Try to lock your knees, creating a tremendous stretching feeling, pain sensation all over underneath the legs from bones to the skin, coccyx to the toes with your smiling, happy face. Continuously keep pulling. Pulling is the object of stretching. Pull your heels, push your knees back and lock your knees. Exhale, breathing and lock your knees. Roll forward, body went on the toes, lock your knees, eyes open, touch your face. Lock your knees, lock your knees, lock your knees. Inhale, breathing slowly, come up, arms and head together. Arms down, side, stand still there, look in the mirror. Or right, we're in the business now, let's do it again. Toes and heels together, touching each other. Arms over your head, side, palms together. Interlock your fingers, release your index fingers, thumbs crossed, tight grip all the way up to the wrist. Don't lose the grip. Elbows locked, no gap between biceps, arms and ears. Inhale, breathing, stretch up at the waist. Try to touch the ceiling. Absolutely straight line, slowly bend your body to the right without bending elbows, without bending knees. Continuously push your hips to the left beyond your flexibility. Trying to create tremendous stretching feeling in the left side of the body, all over, inside out from the bones to the skin. The fingertips to the toes, hips more forward, upper body back more, weight in the heels, push the hips to the left, push the hips to the left, left hip forward so the both hips in one line, right shoulder forward, opening up the chest, now come down as deep as you want, at the end, come down and push and push and push and push, inhale, breathing comes, stop in the middle, palms together like the glue, elbows locked, arms touching with your ears, inhale, breathing, stretch up out of the waist, try to touch ceiling, absolutely straight line, slowly bend your body to the left, without bending elbows, think of it, without bending elbows, without bending knees, continuously push your hips to the right, push your hips to the right, beyond your flexibility, trying to create tremendous stretching feeling in the right side of the body. Hips more forward, upper body back, more weight in the heels, push your hips to the right. Right hip forward, both hips in one line, left shoulder forward, opening the chest, come down and push and push and push and push and push. Inhale, breathing, come up, stop in the middle. Backward bending, take a deep breath for lungs, drop your head back as far as it goes. Eyes open and look at the floor behind you. Arms back immediately. Try to touch the wall behind you. Arms back more, boss. Bend your spine backwards from the coccyx to the neck. Lower back, middle back, upper back. Total spine backward. Bend your Angela arms back. Push your upper body back. Try to fall down backwards. Maximum body weight on your heels. Inhale, stomach, legs, hips, everything. Push forward towards the mirror. Arms back. Look back. Fall back. Way back. Go back. More back. More back. More back. Inhale. Come up. Stop in the middle. Bend your knees. Put your hands on the floor in front of you. Move your hips several times, right and left, right and left, right and left, right and left. Not so long here, you're more warmed up and you might feel it. Right, left, right, left. All right, second set. Bend the knees if you need to. Feet together. Grab your heels from behind. Five fingers together. That means thumbs touching index fingers. Everybody, elbows behind the legs, on the calf muscles throughout the posture. Please don't lose the grip. Pull your heels as hard as possible and stretch your body down from the lower spine towards the floor. Touch your stomach on your thighs, chest on your knees, face on your legs below the knees. Now what's happening? Should be no gap between the body and the legs. Pull your heels and slowly push your knees back as hard as possible. Try to lock your knees, creating a tremendous stretching feeling, pain sensation all over underneath the legs. Continuously keep pulling without interruption, without intermission. Your goal to touch your head to your feet, creating 360 degree angle, stretching coccyx to the neck, coccyx to the void. Pull your heels, push your knees back, lock your knees, exhale breathing, lock, don't give up. Roll forward, body on the toes, lock your knees, eyes open, touch your face, last chance, lock your knees, lock your knees, lock your knees. Inhale breathing, slowly come up, arms and head together. 
arms down by your side, stand still, look in the mirror. All right. Awkward pose with Katasana. Right foot, step to the right, six inches apart. Heels invisible behind your toes. Your feet should look like perfect letter H. Six inches between the toes, six inches between the heels. Don't move or change your feet throughout the entire posture. Arms up, parallel to the floor. Five fingers together, touching each other. Elbows locked, triceps muscles, nice tight contraction. Nothing loose, nothing hanging. Stretch your arms forward towards the mirror. Try to touch the mirror. Exhale, breathing, suck your stomach in. Sit down, feet flat position until your hips touch the chair. Spine straight to begin with, 100% body weight on your heels. Lift your chest up and bend your total spine, backward bending. Bring your upper body back. Suck your stomach in. Compression of the abdominal wall, contraction of the abdominal muscles. Rib cage visible in the front mirror. Keep six inches between toes, heels, knees, hands, open the knees, chest up, chin up, lean back, fall back, way back. You're trying to fall down backwards. Inhale, come up, keep your arms there. Concentrate one point in the mirror. Stand up on your toes, maximum like a ballerina. Tremendous concentration, focus one point. If you blink your eyes, you might lose the balance. Stretch your spine, chest, head, everything up towards the ceiling like natural human traction. Think I'm pulling your hair towards the ceiling. Sit down on the top of the toes, spine straight position. Start to finish. You should feel your hips and head touching the wall. Sit down halfway until your hips touch the chair, knees up, chest up. Upper body leaning back, come up higher on the toes. Knees up towards the ceiling. Hips should not go down below the chair. You're sitting in the chair. Inhale, come up. Spine straight, heels down. Keep your arms there. Come up a little bit on your toes. Bring your knees together. And then sit down as slow as possible. All the way down. All the way down. All the way down. All the way down. Leaning against the wall. Continuously stretch your spine towards the ceiling, half inch gap between the hips and the heels. You're leaning against the wall, hips and head touching the wall, no gap anywhere. Knees together, forward towards the mirror. Thighs parallel to the floor, arms parallel to the legs, spine perfectly straight from the side. You look like 90 degree angle box. Knees together, inhale, breathing, slowly come up, straight spine. That's it. Right foot back to the place, arms down, side, stand still, take a breath. Awkward pose, not caught, awkward for nothing, right? And right foot, step to the right, second set. Feet like perfect, let H. Take a look at the feet. Heels invisible behind the toes. Now feet got to stay straight throughout the entire posture. Don't have them change. Arms up, parallel to the floor. Five fingers together. Stretch your arms forward. Relax your shoulders. Stretch your arms forward. Try to touch the mirror. Exhale, breathing, suck your stomach in, hold it in. Sit down, feet flat position. Till hips touch chair. Spine straight to begin with, 100% body weight on your heels. Lift your chest up and bend your total spine, backward bending from the coccyx to the neck. Bring your upper body back. Suck your stomach in, rib cage visible in the front mirror. Six inches between toes, heels, knees, hands, chest up, chin up, lean back, fall back, way back. You're trying to fall down backwards. Inhale, come up, keep your arms there. Stand up on your toes. Maximum like ballerina as high as possible. Focus in the mirror. Stretch your spine, chest, head, legs, everything up towards the ceiling. Sit down. On the top of the toes, spine straight position, start to finish. You should feel hips and head touch the wall. Sit down halfway until your hips touch the chair. Knees up, chest up, upper body leaning back, come up higher on the toes. Knees up towards the ceiling, hips should not go down below the chair. You're sitting in the chair. Inhale, come up, spine straight, heels down, keep your arms there. Go a little bit on your toes, bring your knees together. And sit down as slow as possible. Ten counts to sit down. Another 10 counts, last six inches. Continuously stretch your spine towards the ceiling. Half inch gap between the hips and the heels. Knees together, forward towards the mirror. Thighs parallel to the floor. Arms parallel to the legs. Spine perfectly straight. You can bounce. Test your balance. Bounce and bounce and bounce and bounce and balance. Knees together. Inhale, breathing. Slowly push up straight spine. Right foot back to the place. Arms down sides. Stand still there. Eagle pose, Garasana. Look at your arms and identify which is right, which is left. Don't mix them up. Arms over your head sideways. Bring your right arm under your left arm. Cross your arms each other. Twist flight ropes. Hands, palms together in front of your face. Thumbs towards your face. Little fingers towards the mirror. Now you can interlace the fingers to begin with if you can't get the palms together yet. And pull your elbows down towards the floor. Try to get your fingertips below the nose. Suck your stomach in. Sit down until hips in the chair. Upper body leaning back. Stay there. Lift your right leg over your left leg as high as possible. 
Twist your legs like ropes. Put your right foot underneath your left calf muscle. All five toes should be visible in the front mirror. Sit down more. Twist like ropes. Arch your upper body back. No gap anywhere between ankle and calf muscle. Bring your knees to the right, upper body left, feet, knees, elbows, hands, everything in one line in the mirror. If your foot's coming out, sit down more. If you're losing the balance, arch your upper body back more. Suck your stomach in, pull your elbows down, sit down more, upper body back at the end. Change. Arms of your head side. Bring your left arm under your right arm. Cross your arms each other, twist like ropes, hands, palms together. The thumbs towards the face, think of it. Little fingers towards the mirror, you can interlace to begin with if you need to. Pull your elbows down towards the floor, try to get fingertips below the nose. Suck your stomach in, sit down, hips in the chair. Everybody leaning back, stay there. Lift your left leg over your right leg as high as possible. The higher you bring the leg on the thigh, the easier it is to create the twist. Twist your legs like ropes. Put your left foot underneath your right calf muscle, all five toes, just the toes visible in the front mirror. Sit down more, twist like ropes. Arch your upper body back, no gap anywhere between ankle and calf muscle. Bring the knees left, upper body right, feet, knees, elbows, hands, everything in one line in the mirror. Suck your stomach in, pull your elbows in a little bit, sit down, upper body back at the end. Change. Arms of your head side. Bring your right arm under your left arm. Cross your arms together. Twist like ropes. Uh, make sure it's right under left. That's what we say, it's very normal. No worries. Pull your elbows down. Pull your elbows down, try to get fingertips below the nose. Look in the mirror. Suck your stomach and sit down to lips in the chair. Upper body leaning back, stay there. Lift your right leg over your left leg as high as possible. Twist your legs like ropes. Put your right foot underneath left calf muscle. All five toes visible in the front row. Sit down more. Twist like ropes. Arch your body back. No gap anywhere between ankle and calf muscle. Opening up 14 major joints of the body, seven on each side. Knees right, upper body left. Sit down, pull your elbows down, stomach in. Upper body back at the end. Change. Arms over your head side. Bring your left arm under your right arm. Cross your arms to the twist like ropes. Hands, palms together. Thumbs towards your face. Little fingers towards the mirror. Pull your elbows down towards the floor. Pull the elbows down. Try to get fingers below the nose. Might not happen this lifetime. Who cares? You've got to try anyway. Suck your stomach in. Sit down. Hips in the chair. Upper body leaning back. Stay there. Lift your left leg over your right leg as high as possible. Twist your legs like ropes. Put your left foot underneath the right calf muscle, all five toes visible in the front mirror. Sit down more, twist light ropes, arch your upper body back, no gap between ankle and calf muscle, knees left, upper body right, feet, knees, elbows, hands in one line, stomach in, pull your elbows down, sit down, that's it, upper body back at the end, change, arms over your head, arms down side, have a drink, party time. A very nice start. You keep going the same way. That much concentration, that much determination, that much patience, all very important. You're going to leave this room, you feel like million dollars. All right, let's keep going. Come back on your mats. Standing head to knee pose. Dandya Mana, Janusharasana. Feet together. Wipe your hands. Shift your weight to your left leg. Interlock your ten fingers and grab your right foot in front of you. Three inches below the toes. Hold it nice and tight grip. Please don't lose the grip. Look in the mirror. Start to finish. Concentrate one point on your left knee in the mirror to make sure the knee is absolutely locked to begin with. You don't have the knee. Your left leg should be solid, concrete, one piece, lamppost, unbroken, no knee. Inhale, breathing slowly, gently, right leg lift up and stretch forward towards the mirror until the leg is exactly parallel to the floor, no higher, no lower, left knee locked. Take a deep breath, continuously kick your right leg, heel forward towards the mirror so you can turn your right foot in from the ankle towards your face with all five toes turning in. Now standing leg bending, posture hasn't started yet, kick your heel out, turn your toes in, try to get both knees locked so from the side your legs should look like perfect upside down L. If both knees are locked and you can balance comfortably, then only you can bring the elbows down towards the floor until your elbows touch calf muscle. Eventually, elbows should go below the calf muscle. Change. Feet together. Wipe your hands other side. Shift your weight to your right leg. Pick up your left foot, same position. Ten fingers interlock. Nice tight grip, don't lose the grip. Then look in the mirror. 
Concentrate on your right knee in the middle. Don't even blink your eyes. Think very deeply about your standing leg. Right knee locked. Distribute the weight equally the same all over the standing foot. Don't bring the weight to the side. The standing leg thigh muscle should be contraction. Nothing loose. Nothing hanging. Stomach in. Inhale, breathing slowly, gently. Left leg lift up and stretch forward towards the mirror. Deep breath. Continuously kick your left heel forward towards the mirror until your both knees lock. Continuously keep kicking without interruption, without intermission. You have to learn how to flex the foot to stretch the Achilles tendon just above the heel. Eventually all five toes turning in beyond perpendicular. You should feel tremendous stretching feeling underneath the legs, cramps under the thigh. Now, if both knees are locked and still you can balance... Then only you can bend your elbows down towards the floor until your elbows touch calf muscle. Eventually, elbows should go below the calf muscle. Change. Feet together. I right, do the back bending one second. You have to make up your mind before you even start not to give up. Mind over the matter. Bengal tiger strength. English bulldog determination. I met a bulldog the other day. She was very stubborn. You have to be like her. Feet together. Wipe your hands. Shift your weight to your left leg. Pick up your right foot in front of you. Ten fingers interlocked. Nice tight grip. Concentrate on your left knee in the mirror. Left knee locked. Thigh muscle contraction. Light lamp post. You don't have the knee. Stomach in. Inhale breathing slowly. Gently right leg lift up and stretch forward towards the mirror. Deep breath continuously. Kick your right leg. Heel forward. All five toes turning. Keep kicking. Kick the mirror. Both knees are locked and you can balance comfortably. Then only bend your elbows down. Elbows touch calf muscle. Eventually you'll be below the calf muscle. If you can still balance there with both knees locked, happy, smiling face, slowly body down, chest down, head down, tuck your chin to your chest, look at your stomach, touch your exactly forehead on your knee. Change. Feet together, wipe your hands, shift your weight to your right leg. Pick up your left foot in front of you any way you can. All ten fingers interlocked. Nice tight grip. Don't lose the grip. Concentrate, meditate. One point. On your right knee. 100% concentration. Nothing else in the world. Stomach in. Inhale, breathing slowly, gently. Left leg lift up and stretch forward to the middle. Proud right knee locked. Take a deep breath. Continuously kick your left leg. Heel forward towards the mirror. Kick the mirror. Flex the toes back. All five toes turning in. Keep kicking the mirror. Kick the heel out. Turn the toes in. Try to get both knees locked. If both knees are locked, you can balance. Bend your elbows down. Elbows touch calf muscle. Bench the elbows below the calf muscle. Still you can balance. Body down. Chest down, head down, tuck your chin to your chest, look at your stomach, touch your foot on the knee, kick forward. Change. Feet together. Do the back bending. One second back bending. All right, then standing bow pulling pose. Dandya mana, dandya asana. Bring your right hand up, palm facing up, elbow touching the body. Say, mana, give me money. Mama, give me money. You got the money in your hand. Don't turn your hand, don't drop the money. Bring your hand out to the right. And grab the right foot behind you, palm facing up. Hold from the inside at the ankle, five fingers together. Don't lose the grip. Left thumb up in front of you, chin close to your shoulder. Concentrate one point on your left knee in the mirror. Left leg locked throughout the posture. Bring your knees together to start. Inhale, breathing, charge your body forward towards the mirror. Try to touch the mirror. Simultaneously kick your right leg back and up towards the ceiling. Bring your body down from the lower spine until your abdomen and chest are parallel to the floor. Continuously keep kicking your right leg up as hard as possible. Your foot should be coming up over the top of your head in the mirror. Both feet should be in one line from the side. Kick back. So the right shoulder is behind the left shoulder, invisible in the front mirror. Stretch your left fingertips forward, trying to touch the mirror. Try to touch your shoulder to your chin. Shoulder blade, scapula coming out of the body. In other words, two shoulders should be in one line. Kicking and stretching should be equal and simultaneous. 50-50. If you lose balance, you're not kicking hard enough. Body down more. Stretch forward more. Try to touch the mirror. Kick back more. Kick harder. Harder you kick, you can balance forever. Body down and kick up one more time. Change. Come up. Feet together. Look in the mirror. Concentrate. Meditate. Find your own strength. Bring your left hand up, palm facing. You can think it. Mama, give me money. Bring your hand out to the left. Don't drop the money. Grab the left foot behind you, palm facing up. Hold from the inside at the ankle joint. Five fingers together. That means thumb touching, index fingers. Never going to change. Right up in front of you. Chin touching your shoulder. Concentrate one point on your right knee in the mirror. Right leg lock throughout the posture. Bring the knees together to start. Inhale, breathing. Charge your body forward towards the mirror. Try to touch the mirror. Simultaneously kick your left leg 
back and up towards the ceiling. Bring your body down from the lower spine until your abdomen and chest are parallel to the floor. Continuously keep kicking your left leg up as hard as possible. Your foot should be coming up over the top of your head in the mirror. Both feet should be in one line from the side. Kick back so your left shoulder is behind the right shoulder, invisible in the front mirror. Touch your right finger and it's forward. Try to touch the mirror. Try to touch your shoulder to your chin. The shoulder blade scapula coming out of the body. In other words, two shoulders in one line. Kicking and stretching should be equal, simultaneous, 50-50, body down more, stretch forward more, try to touch the mirror, kick back more, kick harder, the harder you kick, you balance forever, body down and kick up one more time, change, come up, feet together, right, first set is always diagnostic, you know what you're working with now, second set is therapeutic, let's do it again, feet together, bring your right hand up, palm facing up, elbow touching the body, bring your hand out to the right, grab the right foot behind you, palm facing up, hold from the inside of the ankle joint, five fingers together, don't lose grip, left thumb up in front of you, chin close to your shoulder, concentrate, one point on your left knee in the mirror, left leg locked throughout the posture, bring your knees together to start, in our breathing, charge your body forward towards the mirror, try to touch the mirror, simultaneously Simultaneously kick your right leg back and up towards the ceiling. Bring your body down from the lower spine until your abdomen and chest are parallel to the floor. Continuously keep kicking your right leg up as hard as possible. Your foot should be coming up over the top of your head in the mirror. Both feet should be in one line from the side. Kick back so your right shoulder is behind your left shoulder and visible in the front mirror. Stretch your left finger its forward trying to touch the mirror. Try to touch your shoulder to your chin. Shoulder blade scapula coming out of the body. In other words, two shoulders should be in one line. Kicking and stretching equal simultaneous 50 50 body down more stretch forward more kick back more kick harder harder you kick you balance forever body down kick up one more time change feet together bring your left hand up palm facing up elbow touching the body bring your hand out to the left grab the left foot behind you palm facing up hold from the inside of the ankle joint the grip's going to help you get it precise the more precision the more benefit right up in front of you chin close to your shoulder concentrate one point on your right knee in the mirror right leg locked throughout the posture solid concrete no knee knees together in our breathing charge your body forward towards the mirror try to touch the mirror simultaneously kick your left leg back and up towards the ceiling bring your body down from the lower spine until your abdomen and chest are parallel to the floor continuously keep kicking your left leg up as hard as possible your foot should be coming up over the top of your head in the mirror both feet should be in one line from the side kick back so the left shoulder behind the right shoulder invisible on the front mirror stretch your right finger it's forward victoria try to touch the mirror try to touch your shoulder to your chin shoulder blade scapula coming out of the body two shoulders in one line kicking and stretching should be equal and simultaneous 50 50 body down more stretch forward more try to touch the mirror kick back more kick harder the harder you kick your balance real body down more try to touch mirror kick back kick harder kick up one more time change come up all right balancing stick pose tula dandasana this posture is only 10 seconds the moment you hear my clap you step forward you have to make up your mind to use your 100 percent strength in half a second if you're late, it's over. Feet together. Arms over your head, sideways, palms together. Interlock your fingers, release your index fingers, thumbs crossed. Stretch your arms towards the ceiling, like you're trying to touch the ceiling to make sure your elbows are locked, arms touching with your ears throughout the entire posture. No gap between the arms and the head. Chin up, body back a couple of inches. Inhale, breathing, right leg, step forward, a big step. Lock both knees, arms, head together, come down until your whole body, arms, head, legs, everything is parallel to the floor. From the side, your body looks like a T as in Tom. Charge your body forward towards the mirror like you're trying to touch the mirror. Get the left leg up, pointed toes, knee lock. Continue to stretch your body forward. Try to touch the mirror. Come down, leg up, chest down, leg up, stretch, 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 stretch. Inhale, come up, feet together, keep your arms there. That was the good one. Stretch up, chin up, body back, arms of the ears. Chin up, body back. Inhale, breathing, left leg, step forward, a big step. Lock both knees, arms are together, come down. Whole body, arms, head. Head, legs, everything proud of the floor. T like Tom, not broken umbrella. Charge your body forward towards the mirror like you're trying to touch the mirror. Get the right leg up, pointed toes, lock your knee. Every muscle contracted. Look at the left foot in the mirror. Come down, leg up, come down, leg up. Stretch, 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 stretch. Inhale, come up, feet together. And arms down side. Just stand still, breathing out through the nose. Heart rate coming up now. Nothing to worry about. It's good for you. 
Let's do it again. Feet together. Arms over your head, side, palms together. Interlock your fingers, release your index fingers, thumbs crossed. Stretch your arms towards the ceiling. Elbows locked, arms with the ears throughout the posture. Chin up, body back, couple of inches. In our breathing, right leg, step forward, big step. Lock both knees, arms sit together. Come down, whole body, arms, head, legs, everything. Pull to the floor, charge your body forward towards the mirror. Try to touch the mirror. It's natural human tug of war. The shoulder blades, scapular coming at me. Make sure shoulders are Get the leg up, get the leg up. One the toes. Come down, leg up, stretch, 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 stretch. Inhale, come up, feet together. Keep your arms with your ears. Stretch up, chin up, body back, couple of inches. Inhale, breathing, left leg, step forward, big step. Lock both knees, arms sit together. Come down, whole body, arms, head, legs, everything. Proud of the floor, chin forward. Look at the left foot, make the right leg up. One the toes. Come down, leg up, come down, come down, come down, come down, leg up, come down, leg up. Stretch, 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 stretch. Inhale, come up, feet together. Arms down, so just stand still. All right, come to the left side of your mat, please, onto the carpet. Alternate with your neighbor, one person forward, one person back, starting from left-hand side. That's the way. The professional yogis here today. You all know what you're doing, nice and quick. All right, standing separate legs, stretching pose. Dandi mana bibhaktapada paschimottanasana. Feet together. Arms over your head sideways, right leg, step to the right, big step. Four feet minimum. At the same time, arms down parallel to the floor. Heels in one line, feet slightly pigeon-toed. Suck your stomach in, slowly bend your upper body down from the lower spine towards the floor. Keep your chin forward looking in the mirror and your knees locked all the way down. Grab your heels from the outside, five fingers together. That means thumb touching index finger. As a beginner, if you can't grab your heels yet, grab the outsides of your feet. Pull your heels as hard as is possible, stretching your body down from the lower spine towards the floor. Make sure your knees are locked. Roll forward like a wheel. Body weight on the toes. Try to touch your forehead to the floor. If you can't touch your forehead to the floor, open your legs more and more and more. First your legs stretching, then your hips stretching, then your lower spine stretching, then your whole spine stretching, eventually the whole body stretching. 360 degree angle, coccyx to the neck, coccyx to the forehead. Pull harder, keep pulling, chin forward, roll forward, touch your foot on the floor. Slowly come up. Right leg back to the place. Arms down side. Stand still. Breathe in and out through the nose. So you know that place where it says, if you can't touch your forehead to the floor, open your legs more and more and more. If you can't touch your forehead to the floor, open your legs. Try it out as technique. Feet together. Arms over your head side. Right leg step to the right. Big step. Four feet minimum, arms down, parallel to the floor. Heels in one line, feet slightly pigeon-toed. If you're forward to easily touch, bring the feet closer. Suck your stomach in and slowly bend your upper body down from the lower spine towards the floor. Keep your chin forward, looking in the mirror and the knees locked all the way down. Grab the heels from the outside, five fingers together. Pull the heels as hard as possible, stretching your body down from the lower spine towards the floor. Make sure knees locked. Knees locked. Roll forward like will, body weight on the toes, try to touch your forehead to the floor. If you can't touch your forehead to the floor, open your legs more. Open your legs, boss, open your legs more, that's it, and more, and more. And eventually the entire spine perfectly straight, forward touching the floor between the feet. See, the technique works. Pull harder, keep pulling, chin forward, roll forward, touch your foot on the floor. Slowly come up. Right leg back to the place, arms down side, stand still, breathe in and out through the nose. See, you never had, you got body when you were born, but you didn't get the manual for it. At Bikram Yoga, the dialogue gives you the manual, what to do, how to do it, the results of doing. You try the technique, whole life going to change. All right, triangle pose, trikonasana. Are you ready for this? This is the only posture in the world that uses 100% of the body. Every muscle, every joint, every organ, every major gland. Feet together, triangle pose, trikonasana, feet together, arms over your head sideways. Right leg step to the right, big step, four feet minimum. Immediately arms down parallel to the floor, palms facing down. Look straight ahead in the front mirror, push your hips forward, upper body leaning back. Turn your right foot out to the right, turn it half inch more until the foot is parallel to the front mirror, two heels in one line. Look straight ahead in the mirror, inhale breathing, bend your right knee and sit down. 
bounce a couple of times like a motorcycle ride to make sure you're sitting down low enough. Your right thigh biceps should be parallel to the floor. In the front mirror, your right leg should look like perfect upside down L. Don't let the hips go up anymore. Stay down there. Now again, hips forward, arms back, body back, lean back, open your chest, spine straight in the center. In our breathing, move your both arms at the same time. Right elbow in front of the right knee. Bring your right hand down and put your fingertips between the big toe and second toe. Don't touch the floor. No pressure on fingertips against the floor. Look up to the ceiling and touch your chin to your left shoulder so the profile of your face is visible in the front mirror. Take a deep breath. Continuously stretch your left arm towards the ceiling. You're trying to touch the ceiling. Right arm stretch down. Left arm stretch up. In other words, both arms, shoulders stretching each other up and down in opposite directions like natural human traction. Push your left hip forward. At the same time, push your right knee back with the top of the right elbow. Touch the toes. Over body turn or twist backwards like the spine twisting posture. Left knee locked, left foot flat on the floor. In our breathing, Come up, stop in the middle. Turn your right foot back to the center. Turn your left foot parallel to the front mirror. Keep the arms there. Now, two heels in one line. Look in the mirror. Inhale, breathing. Bend your left knee and sit down. Bounce and bounce and bounce. Make sure you're sitting down enough. Your left thigh biceps femur bone should be parallel to the floor. Like L. Look in the mirror. Hips forward. Arms back. Body back. Open your chest. Spine straight in the center. Don't let the hips come up. Freeze there. In our breathing, move the both arms at the same time. Left elbow in front of the left knee. Don't let elbow go below the knee. Elbow against the knee. Palm facing the mirror. Bring your left hand down and put the fingertips between the big toe and second toe. Now look up to the ceiling. Touch your chin to your right shoulder so the profile of your face is visible in the front mirror. Take a deep breath. Continuously stretch your right arm towards the ceiling. Quick stretch up. You're trying to touch the ceiling. You're going to touch it pretty soon. Right arm stretch up. Left arm stretch down. Both arms, shoulders stretching each other apart like natural human tug of war. Push the right hip forward. Push the left knee back with the help of the left elbow. Upper body turn or twist backwards like the spine twisting posture. Right knee locked. Right foot flat on the floor. Inhale, breathing. Come up. Arms over your head. Right leg back to the place. Arms down, side stand still. Breathe in and out through the nose. That was the good one. Pretty work, pretty good. See the technique works. You listen, you put, apply it to the body the best of your ability. You come back again tomorrow, you do it again. This is how it works. Progress, not perfection. Feet together. Arms over your head side. Right leg step to the right. Big step. Four feet minimum. Arms down, parallel to the floor, palms facing down. Look in the mirror. Push your hips forward, upper body back. Turn your right foot out to the right, parallel to the front mirror. Two heels in one line. And look in the mirror. This is where you're going to calibrate yourself. Make sure you've got the right setup. In our breathing, bend the right knee, sit down. Bounce a couple of times. Right thigh, biceps, femur bone, parallel to the floor like L. You might have changed the step, bigger or smaller. Hips forward, arms back, body back. Open your chest, spine straight in the center. In our breathing, move both the arms. Right elbow in front of the right knee. Bring the right hand down, put fingertips between the big toe and second toe. Look up to the ceiling. Touch your chin to your left shoulder. Profile of your face visible in the front mirror. Left arm stretch up. Right arm stretch down. Left arm stretch up. Both arms stretching. Continuously stretch, stretch, stretch. Push your left hip forward. Push your right knee back. Oh, body turn or twist backwards, opening the chest. This is perfect match between the heart and the lungs. Right left knee locked. Inhale, breathing. Come up. Stop in the middle. Keep your arms there. Turn your right foot back to the center. Turn your left foot parallel to the front mirror. Two heels in one line. Look in the mirror. Lock the right knee, right foot flat, right from the start. Inhale, breathing. Bend the left knee. Sit down. You can bounce if you need to. Left thigh parallel to the floor. Now hips forward, arms back, body back. Open your chest. Spine straight in the center. Get the right arm up there. Inhale, breathing. Move the both arms at the same time. Left elbow in front of the left knee. Bring your left hand down. Put fingers in the big toe and second toe. No pressure on the floor. Look up to the ceiling. Touch your chin to your right shoulder. Profile of your face visible on the front mirror now. Take a deep breath and right arm stretch up. Pretty soon you are going to touch the ceiling. Go for it. Left arm stretch down. Right arm stretch up. Shoulder blade scapula coming up. Both arms, shoulders in one line. Push the right hip forward. Push the left knee back. Hips down. Body up. Big gap. Triangle position to the thigh muscle. I'll be eternal twist backwards. Right knee lock. Right foot flat. Inhale, breathing. Come up. Arms over your head. Right leg back to the place. Arms down, side. Stand still there. Well, look at that. It was a good one. All right. Standing separate leg. Head to knee pose. Dandiyamana Bipakta Parajanya Shirasana. Feet together. Arms over your head sideways. Palms together. Only cross your thumbs. Stretch your arms towards the ceiling. Arms and head together throughout the posture. Right leg step to the right. Big step. Three feet distance. 36 inches between the feet. Turn to the right 180 degree angle. Turn your hips one, two, three, four, five times beyond your flexibility. Get your two hips in one line, two heels in one line. Back side foot should be 45 degree angle. Exhale, breathing, and you go down, arms and head together. Tuck your chin to your chest. Look at your stomach and touch your forehead on your knee. 
If you can't touch your forward and the knee, you can bend the right knee a little bit. You must touch your forward and the knee. Stretch your hands forward beyond your toes. Keep your arms straight. Push your hands against the floor to get the knee locked. Exhale, breathing. Suck your stomach in. Throat choked. Eyes open. Breathing normal. Bring maximum weight on the right leg, the front leg, to get the two hips in one line. Now quick, lock the knee a couple of times. Inhale, breathing. Slowly, gently come up. Arms and head together. Stop in the middle. Turn to the left, 185 degree angle. Turn your hips five times more. Now twist your hips with the backside foot to get the two hips in one line. Stretch your arms. Exhale, breathing stomach in. Look at your stomach. Slowly go down. Look at your stomach. Two hips in one line. Touch your forehead on the knee. You've got to touch forehead on the knee. If you can't touch forehead, no problem. Bend the left knee a little bit. Touch the forehead. Get the benefit. Stretch your hands forward beyond your toes. Elbows locked. Push your hands against the floor. If you're losing balance, open the hands. If not, keep them together. At least the thumbs crossed. Elbows locked. Push against the floor. Get the knee locked. Exhale, breathing. Suck your stomach in. Throat choked. Eyes open. Breathing normal. Bring maximum weight on left leg to get two hips in one line. Very quick. Lock the knee a couple of times. Inhale, breathing slowly. Gently come up. Arms and head together. Stop in the middle. Right leg back to the place. Arms down sides. Stand still. Breathe in through the nose. Out through the nose. Start again. Feet together, arms over your head, side palms together. Just cross the thumbs. Stretch your arms. Right leg step to the right, big step. 36 inches, three feet. Turn to the right. Turn your hips. One, two, three, four, five times. Make sure the backside foot, 45 degree angle. Exhale, breathing, stomach in, go down. Look at your stomach. Stomach in. Look at your stomach. You're bound to be successful. Touch your forehead on your knee. In the knee if you need to. Don't cheat yourself. Foot on the knee. Stretch your hands forward beyond your toes. Elbows lock. Push your hands against the floor. Maybe you get the forehead higher. Increase compression of the thyroid, the pancreas. Improving immune system. Bring maximum weight on the right leg. Two hips in one line. Very quick. Try to lock the knee. Exhale. Breathing. Stomach in. Inhale. Breathing. Slowly. Gently. Come up. Arms and head together. That was the good one. And stop in the middle. Turn to the left. 185 degree angle. Turn the hips, two hips in one line. Stretch your arms. Exhale, breathing, go down. Look at the stomach. Look at the stomach. Arms and head together. As slow as you need to. Slow you go, the better you do. Foot on the knee. Bend the knee if you need to. Foot on the knee. Stretch your hands forward beyond your toes. Elbows look. Push your hands against the floor to get the knee locked. Exhale, breathing. Stomach in. Throat choked. Eyes open. Breathing normal, maximum weight on the front leg, two hips in one line, very quick, lock the knee. Inhale, breathing slowly, gently, come up, arms and head together, stop in the middle. Right leg back to the place, arms down side, stand still a second, breathe in, breathe out, look in the mirror, let it settle. All right, come back to the middle of the mat where you started. Tree pose, Tadasana, feet together, look in the mirror, focus in the mirror. Grab your right foot from underneath with your left hand. Right leg lifts all the way up until your heel touches the costume, sole of the foot facing ceiling. Be careful of the right knee. Slowly, gently let your right knee come down. Push your hips forward and gently push your right knee back. Eventually the two knees in one line, opening up hips and pelvis. The body back a little bit. Suck your stomach in. Stretch your spine towards the ceiling. Two hips in one line. Two shoulders in one line. Slowly bring your right hand in front of your chest. If you can balance, bring your left hand up, palms together, namaskar. If the foot slips at all, continue to hold the foot with your left hand. Left leg locked, thigh muscles contraction. Balance there, focus one point, breathing normal. Change, right leg down, feet together, focus in the mirror. Grab your left foot from underneath with your right hand. Left leg lifts all the way up until the heel touches costume. Sole of the foot facing ceiling. Careful of the left knee. Slowly, gently, let your left knee come down. Push your hips forward and gently push your left knee back. Look in the mirror. Stretch your spine towards the ceiling. Suck your stomach in. Two hips in one line. Two shoulders in one line. Slowly bring your left hand in front of your chest. You can balance, bring your right hand up, palms together, namaskar, foot slips at all, a millimeter. Continue to hold the foot. Balance there. 
change, left leg down. Toe stand pose, parangustasana, feet together, focus one point on the floor, four feet in front of you. Don't move your eyes, don't blink your eyes. Bring your right foot onto the middle of the thigh, wherever you're comfortable. Hands, palms together in front of your chest. Bend your body down from the lower spine towards the floor. Touch your both hands, ten fingers on the floor. Slowly bend your knee. Bring your hips down. Sit down on your heel. Bring your hands to both sides on the floor. Stretch your spine up, hips up. Balancing on fingertips. The both knees should be in one line parallel to the floor. Keep focusing. One point on the floor, four feet in front of you. Slowly bring your left hand in front of your chest. If you can balance there without moving, bring your right hand up, palms together, namaskar. And suck your stomach in, stretch your spine towards the ceiling, natural traction of the spine, balance there. Change. Put your hands on the floor in front of you, slowly push up exactly the opposite the way you went down. Feet together. Focus one point on the floor, four feet in front of you, don't blink your eyes. Bring your left foot onto the middle of your thigh, wherever you're comfortable. Hands, palms together in front of your chest. Bend your body down from the lower spine towards the floor. Touch your both hands, ten fingers on the floor. Slowly bend your knee. Bring your hips down and sit down on your heel. Bring your hands to both sides on the floor. Stretch your spine up. Now, then come pulling your head towards the ceiling. Half inch gap between the hips and the heels. Slowly bring your left hand in front of your chest. If you can balance without moving, bring your right hand up. Palms together, namaskar. Suck your stomach in. Stretch your spine up. Balance there. Change. Put your hands on the floor in front of you. Slowly push up exactly opposite the way you went down. Sit feet together. Turn around, please. Lie down on your back. Feet towards the back wall. Ready for savasana. Lie on your back, please. Legs straight, heels together. Let your feet fall open, completely relax. Arms on the towel, palms facing the ceiling. Head straight, eyes open. Breathing normal in through the nose, out through the nose. Completely relax, don't move. So that was the warming up exercise. Now the class begins, so body warmed up, mind starting to concentrate, starting to create meditation state. Every exercise or physical activity in the world you do, you burn energy. Like driving a car burns gas. The tank is empty, you need to fill it up again. The Hatha Yoga class, Bikram Yoga class, is a gas station. It is the only place in the world where you gain energy instead of losing it. Practicing yoga asanas is the only natural physical activity in the world because it is scientific. With the help of science, we can explain nature. Now relax yourself, don't move. Breathe in through the nose, out through the nose. So in savasana, you stay still, you breathe in out through the nose. Learning to relax. Might not be comfortable yet, it's all right. But what you're doing here, you're giving the body the conditions that it can use its own intelligence to create well-being. All the way down cellular level. Completely relax. Completely relax. I right, start again. Pavana Muktasana, wind removing pose. Right leg lift up. Hold your right leg two inches below the knee. Interlocked fingers, nice tight grip. Pull your knee down all the way towards your right shoulder, completely avoiding the rib cage. Make sure left leg is straight, calf muscle touching the floor. If not, flex the left toes. Chin towards your chest, no gap underneath the neck. Bring your elbows close to the body, both shoulders relaxed, touching the floor. 
pull down harder and freeze there. And freeze, don't move. You can't even blink your eyes. You have to pull a little extra hard. Make sure your hip joint hurts. Maximum pressure in the lower abdomen. Change. Arms and legs down. A left leg lift up. Hold your left leg two inches below the knee. Interlock fingers. Nice tight grip. Pull your knee down all the way towards the left shoulder. Avoid the rib cage. You might have to pull the knee out first, then back down and in. Chin towards your chest. Bring the elbows close to the body. Both shoulders relaxed, touching the floor. Flex the right toes if you have to. Pull down harder and freeze there. Eyes open, breathing will freeze. Don't move. You have to pull a little extra hard. Make sure hip joint hurts maximum pressure in the lower abdomen. Change. Arms and legs down. And immediately both legs lift up. Grab your elbows, each other. A couple of inches below the knees if possible. Now, you've got to grab the elbows. Both hands grabbing the both elbows. If you can't grab the elbows, grab the elbows anyway. You don't get them, who cares? It's what you try, not what you do. Chin towards your chest. Shoulders relaxed. Eyes open. Breathing normal. Hold it then. Eventually, in the future, as you improve your skeletal system, the bone joint's enough. Then only your entire spine is going to be flat on the floor. Change. Legs down, arms down, relax and savasana. So same position. 20 seconds now. Legs straight, heels together. Let the feet fall open, arms on the towel. Palms facing ceiling, head straight. Eyes open, breathing normal. Relax. Don't move. Right leg lift up, hold your right leg two inches below the knee, interlocked fingers, nice tight grip. Pull your knee down all the way towards your right shoulder, avoid the rib cage. chin towards your chest, no gap underneath the neck, bring the elbows close to the body, both shoulders relaxed, touching the floor, pull down harder and freeze there, eyes open, breathing normal. You have to pull a little bit extra hard, make sure hip joint hurts, maximum pressure in the lower abdomen, right side leg massaging, ascending column, very good for digestive system, change, arms and legs down. Left leg lift up. Hold your left leg two inches below the knee. Interlock fingers. Tight grip. Pull the knee down all the way towards the left shoulder. Avoid the rib cage. Chin towards your chest. No gap underneath the neck. Bring the elbows close to the body. You might have to make new action. Bring the elbows close to the body. Both both shoulders relaxed on the floor. Pull down harder and freeze there. Eyes open. Breathing always normal. You have to pull a little extra hard. Make sure hip joint hurts. Maximum pressure in the lower abdomen. Left side leg massaging descending colon. Good for elimination system. Change. Arms and legs down. And both legs lift up. Grab your elbows, each other. Couple of inches below the knees if possible. Nice tight grip, compact. Feet together, side by side, relaxed position. Chin towards your chest. Shoulders relaxed. Eyes open. Breathing and we'll just hold it there. Breathe in through the nose, out through the nose. Hold it there. Hold it there. Total spine flat on the floor. Change. Legs down. Arms down. Relax again. 20 seconds of asana. And circulation coming back to normal position. Blood pressure coming back to normal position. Relax there. Just relax. All right, so next comes sit up. Listen carefully. Toes and heels together. Flex your feet. Keep your heels on the floor. Arms over your head sideways. Thumbs crossed. Arms and head together. Inhale, breathing quickly. Sit up. Exhale, grab the big toes. Double jerk. Void of the knees, elbows to the floor. That's the way. All right. So turn around, please. Lie down on your stomach, facing the front mirror for the spine strengthening series, beginning with Bhujanga Asana, Cobra Pose. So lie on your stomach, chin forward on the floor, and get your hands underneath your shoulders, very close to your chest. Make sure throughout the posture, five fingers together. So your hands, palms are flat on the floor. Fingertips line up with the tops of the shoulders. Baby fingers line up with the deltas. Glue it down. Distribute your body weight equally the same all over your hands, palms. Don't move your hands. Start to finish. Keep your feet and heels together and your feet flat on the floor. You have one leg like a cobra. Don't open it. Leg muscles nice and tight. Hips muscles solid, concrete, one piece. Elbows touching the body. Drop your shoulders down. Look up to the ceiling. 
Inhale, breathing, come up, please. Lift your upper body up using 100% back strength. Come up halfway only, until only your belly button is touching the floor, the rest of the upper body in the air. At the same time from the side, your elbows should be L, 90 degree angle, light rectangle. Stretch your elbows down towards your hips, arms and elbows always touching the body to bring the shoulders down. Trapezius muscles, fizzle in the front mirror. Now, chest up. Everybody come up with inches. Back supposed to hurt. Shoulders down. Chest up. Come up. Hold it there. Freeze. Slowly come down. A left ear on the tail, look to the right, arms by your side, relax again. 20 seconds again. This is also Savasana. Same principle, same benefits, just the other way around. Relax yourself, eyes open, breathing normal. And chin forward. Hands under the shoulders, square underneath the shoulders, not too high, not too low, not too far in, not too far out, not turned in, not turned out. Fingers together, palms flat, glue it down, distribute your body weight equally the same all over your hands, palms. Now move your hands. Start to finish, keep feet and heels together, feet flat on the floor. You have one leg like a snake. Snake's tail, you can't open snake's tail, don't open your legs. Legs muscles nice and tight, hips muscles solid, concrete, one piece, elbows touching the body. Drop your shoulders down, look up to the ceiling, inhale, breathing, come up please. Lift your upper body up using 100% back, so come up halfway only until only belly button touching the floor. The rest of the upper body in the air, the same time from the side, your elbows should be L, 90 degree angle, light rectangle. Stretch your elbows down towards your hips, arms and elbows always touching body to bring the shoulders down. Trapezius muscles, visible in the front mirror, now chest up. Everybody come out of inches, back supposed to hurt, shoulders down, chest up, come up, hold it there, freeze. Slowly come down. It's a good one. Right here on the towel, look to the left, arms by your side, relax again. Relax again. Locust pose, Salabhasana, arms straight position. Get your arms underneath your body, hands, palms facing the floor. Elbows completely underneath your stomach, invisible. Elbows supposed to hurt, fingers completely apart. Grab the floor with your fingertips, two little baby fingers touching side by side. Chin forward, left leg relaxed, right leg solid concrete, one piece, pointed toes. Inhale, breathing slowly, gently, right leg lift up from the floor, minimum 45 degrees, half of 90. Leg up more, lift up more, couple of inches, make sure back hurts, elbows hurt, lock your knee, point your toes, get your leg up, slowly right leg down. All right, relax the right leg. Left leg locked, solid, concrete, one piece, lock your knee, point your toes. Inhale, breathing slowly, gently, left leg lift up from the floor, minimum 45 degrees, half of 90, leg up more, lift up more, couple of inches, lock your knee, point your toes. Leg up, slowly left leg down. Turn your head in so your mouth is on the towel. Readjust your hands, palms, elbows closer underneath the body. Open your fingers and grab the floor. Knees locked, pointed toes. Take a deep breath. Without bending your knees, both legs lift up. Everybody go up. Come up. Everybody go up. Struggle harder. Don't give up. Feet together. Lock your knees. Take a deep breath. Legs up more. Slowly come down. Left ear on the towel, look to the right, arms by your side, relax the arms out from under the body. Fresh oxygenated blood now coming in the arms, the wrist, the forearms. This posture, designed, targeted for the upper spine. We're working spine, healthy spine, healthy life. But all postures have many benefits, 30, 40 benefits, in fact. So additionally, to the spine benefit, this benefits the health of the arms. Also good for sciatica, you've got to lock the knee. Concentrate, lock in the knee. So when you hear the word slowly, gently, go slowly, gently. Slowly may be the most underrated word in Bikram Yoga. It crops up a lot. And you can focus what you're doing. Be more precise, get more benefits. Arms straight position, underneath the body. Hands, palms facing the floor. Elbows completely underneath your stomach, invisible. So see how close you can get elbows. As close as you can get them. Millimeter each day, a little bit progress. Palms facing the floor. Open the fingers. 
and grab the floor of the fingers, fingertips. You've got to use the hands. Chin forward. Left leg relaxed. Right leg locked. Solid. Concrete pointed toes. Inhale breathing slowly, gently. Right leg lift up from the floor for one, two, three, four, five, at the least six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Slowly right leg down. Relax your right leg. Left leg locked. Solid. Concrete. No knee. Inhale breathing slowly, gently. Left leg lift up from the floor for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. Slowly left leg down. Turn your head in so your mouth on the towel. So same principle, the legs lock the knees. Open your fingers, grab the floor. Knees locked, point your toes. Take a deep breath without bending the knees. Slowly, gently come up for one, two, three. Knees locked, four, five, six. Use the hands, seven, eight, nine, ten. Slowly both legs down. Right here on the towel, look to the left. Arms by your side and relax yourself. Relax completely. Relax the arms. Relax the legs. Relax the body. If you're lucky, relax the mind. It's the ultimate destination. Full locust pose. Puna Salaba Asana. Arms out to the side like airplane wings. Palms down. Fingers together. Chin forward on the floor. Legs and feet together. Hip and leg muscles. Tight. Solid. Concrete. One piece. You have one leg only. Don't open your legs. Knees locked. Hips contracted. Look up to the ceiling. Take a deep breath. And arms, body, head, legs, everything. Lift up. 747. Taking off. Everybody look up. Chest up. Arms up. Arms back. Fingertips, similar to the head, only hip bones touching the floor. The rest of the body, body in there. Everybody look up. Chest up, chest up. Come a little more exhale, breathing. Come up one more time. Slowly come down. Left ear on the towel. Look to the right arms by your side and relax yourself in Savasana. Relax yourself. Start again, arms out to the side like airplane wings, palms down, fingers together, chin forward on the floor, legs and feet together, hip and leg muscles tight, solid concrete, knees locked, hips and thighs contracted, you only got one leg, don't open your legs, look up to the ceiling, take a deep breath and arms, body, head, legs, everything, lift up, everybody look up, chest up, arms up, arms back. Fingertips similar to the head, only a bunch on the floor. The rest of the body may look up. Chest up, chest up. Get your legs up, knees locked, chest up. Exhale, breathing. Come up one more time. Slowly come down. Right here on the towel, look to the left. Arms by your side. Relax, relax. Bow pose, Danyarasana, chin forward. Hold your feet from the outside exactly two inches below the toes, five fingers together. That means thumb touching index finger. Don't lose the grip. Six inches between the knees, six inches between the feet. Arms and legs should look like two wheels in one base. Wrist straight, pointed toes. Take a deep breath and gently both legs kick up towards the ceiling. Look up and kick up. Kick your legs back. Continuously keep kicking. Don't stop kicking. Roll forward until your toes are in the center from the side. Kick back more. Kick harder. Head up more. Wrist straight more. Keep your knees in. Pointed toes. Kick back. Kick harder. Slowly come down. Left ear on the towel. Look to the right. Arms by your side. Relax and Sebastian. I tell you, the more I teach this, the more I practice it, the more I see the precision in every little word, every little detail. So a little bit hatha yoga postures like mechanical engineering for the body. It's not romantic. So you listen every part, you try every part exactly 
in the order exactly how it says the best of your ability. Now, what happens from there, this is your business. This is where romantic, mystical part happens. But what you're doing with the body, be as precise as possible, and you see what happens. Body, mind, emotion, spirit, chin forward. Hold your feet from the outside, two inches below the toes. Be precise, five fingers together. The six inches between the knees and the feet. Wrist straight. Turn the toes out a little bit, toes pointed. Now take a deep breath and gently both legs kick up towards the ceiling. Look up and kick up. Kick your legs back. Continuously keep kicking. Don't stop kicking. Roll forward until your toes are in the center of the side. Roll forward. Kick back more, harder. Head up more. Kick your legs behind you. Wrist straight more. Keep your knees in. That's in a kick back. Kick harder. Slowly come down. Right here on the towel, look to the left and relax. 20 seconds, allow yourself relax. Breathing in and out through the nose, don't move. Circulation, come out in normal position. Come to the top of the towel, please. Fixed firm pose, Supta Vajrasana. Kneel down Japanese style, knees and feet together, tops of the feet flat on the floor. Separate your feet, sit down between your heels, hips touching the floor, heels touching your hips. Now as beginner, or if you have pain in your knees or feet, you can open your knees as much as you need to. Make sure your heels touch your hips throughout the posture. Now once you're in it, that's the good place to take your water. Put your hands on your feet, thumbs inside, fingers outside, and touch your right elbow to the floor, then your left elbow, one by one, then the head, then the back of the head, then the shoulders. Eventually, whole upper body relaxed on the floor. Bring your arms over your head. Grab your elbows, each other, over your head and pull your elbows down towards the floor. Lift your chest and stomach up towards the ceiling, creating perfect human bridge. Eventually, you can bring your knees together, but make sure knees never come off the floor. Eyes open, breathing normal. Put your hands on your feet with the help of your elbows. Carefully come up one elbow at a time. And turn around, lie down on your back. Right away, relax and savasana, straight legs. Now, oxygenated, fresh oxygenated blood coming in the knees, double speed, the feet, the ankles. It's posture uniquely healing for the knees. It also has effect on the immune system. When you lift your chest and stomach up, you stimulate the spleen. Spleen cleansing the blood, part of the endocrine system. Very good effects on your immune system. Maybe we don't think about the spleen very much, at least I don't, until, until I learned this. Now I seem to say spleen a lot. Toes and heels together, flex your feet, heels on the floor. Arms over your head, thumbs crossed, arms and head together. Inhale, breathing quickly, sit up. Exhale, grab the big toes, double jerk, void to the knees, elbows to the floor. All right, come back to the top of the towel, please. Second set, knees and feet together, tops of the feet flat on the floor. Start off in Japanese style. If this is easy for you, go even slower, more precise. Separate your feet. Sit down between your heels, hips touching the floor, heels touching the hips. You can open the knees if you need to. Put your hands on your feet, thumbs inside. Right elbow down, left elbow. And the head, the back of the head, the shoulders. Eventually, whole of her body relaxed on the floor. Bring your arms over your head. Grab your elbows, each other over your head, and pull your elbows down towards the floor. Lift your chest and stomach up towards the ceiling, creating perfect human bridge. The higher you lift, the more medical benefits you get. Eventually, you can bring the knees together. But make sure knees never come off the floor. Eyes open, breathing normal. Put your hands on your feet. With the help of your elbows, carefully come up one elbow at a time. And turn around, lie down, relax. Savasana, same position. You know what to do. Toes and heels together, flex your feet, keep your heels on the floor, arms of your head, thumbs crossed, arms and head together, inhale, breathing quickly, sit up, exhale, grab the big toes, double jerk, void of the knees, elbows to the floor, all right. 
middle of the towel, please. Half tortoise pose, Ardha Kurma Asana. Kneel down Japanese style, feet flat, no gap underneath the ankles. Arms over your head, sideways, palms together, only cross your thumbs. Stretch your arms towards the ceiling. Throughout the posture, keep your hips on your heels, chin away from the chest, arms and head together, stomach in. Exhale, breathing slowly, go down front side. Touch your forehead on the floor. Little baby fingers touching the floor. The rest of the arms in the air, elbows locked. Stretch your arms forward towards the mirror. Now make sure shoulders hurt. The scapulae, shoulder blades coming out of the body. Stretch more forward, elbows locked. Chin more forward. Heels touching hips. Eyes open. Breathing normal. Inhale, breathing slowly, gently. Come up, arms and head together. Arms down, turn around, lay down. Relax on your back in Savasana. Relax yourself completely. Same position. Don't move. Toes and heels together, flex your feet, keep your heels on the floor, arms over your head, thumbs crossed, arms and head together, inhale, breathing quickly, sit up, exhale, grab the big toes, double jerk, void of the knees, elbows to the floor, middle of the towel, second set, Ardha Kurma Asana. Sit down Japanese, down, kneel down position, feet flat, no gap underneath the, ankle, underneath the ankles, arms over your head, side, palms together, just thumbs crossed, just the thumbs, and stretch your arms, keep stretching arms, chin up. Keep your hips on your heels, stomach in, exhale, breathing, slowly go down. Hips on the heels, body on the legs, foot on the floor, little baby fingers on the floor, the rest of the arms in the air. Stretch your arms forward. Stretch your arms forward, the shoulder blades, scapulae, deltas, latissimus dorsi, trapezius muscles, everything stretching like balancing sticks. Stretch more forward, chin forward, blood flow going in brain, stimulating unused, overused brain cells, stretch more forward. Heels touching hips, eyes open, breathing normal. Inhale, breathing slowly, gently, come up, arms and head to go. It was a good one, arms down. Turn around, lie down, relax on your back in Savasana. Toes and heels together, flex your feet, keep your heels on the floor, arms over your head, thumbs crossed, arms and head together. Inhale, breathing quickly, sit up. Exhale, grab the big toes, double jerk, void of the knees, elbows to the floor. All right, come to the top of the towel, please, for camel pose, Ustra Asana. Everyone do this one together, not before, not after, word by word. Do the technique how it's designed, you're going to be successful. Stand up on your knees, six inches between the knees, six inches between the feet, that's inside the legs, tops of the feet flat on the floor. Put your hands on your hips, fingers face the floor. Thumbs on the outside. Take a deep breath. Push your hips forward towards the mirror. Drop your head back as far as it goes. Go back halfway and stop in the middle. First, only right hand down. Grab your right heel, thumb on the outside. Left hand, grab the left heel, thumb on the outside. Full grip with the hands, palms. Don't lose the grip. Take a deep breath. Eyes open. Exhale, breathing. Stomach, legs, hips, everything. Push forward as far as possible. Everybody push more. Everybody push harder. Continuously push everything forward towards the mirror. 360 degree backward bending for gravitation. Put your hands on your hips, chest up, spine straight. Push more forward. Inhale, breathing. Slowly come up. Turn around, lie down and relax on your back in Savasana. Relax on your back. Come out, posture opposite the way you went in. normal feel sensations after camel mental sensations physical sensations don't worry about them they're just telling you you're alive also normal you don't feel anything five years i practiced this posture kept telling me i'm going to feel dizzy i'm going to feel dizzy i never felt dizzy five years the class in the fifth year oh i felt dizzy i was so happy i felt dizzy so you can react to any sensation, you can react how you like, it's your choice. Toes and heels together, flex your feet, heels on the floor, arms over your head, thumbs crossed, arms and head together. Inhale, breathing quickly, sit up. Exhale, grab the big toes, double jerk, forward to the knees, elbow to the floor. That's the way. Come to the top of the tail. Second set, 
Stand up on your knees. Second set, wider gap between the knees, eight inches, still six inches between the feet. Tops of the feet flat on the floor. Put your hands on your hips. Fingers face the floor, thumbs outside. Take a deep breath, push your hips forward, drop your head back. Go back halfway. Stop in the middle. First right hand grab right heel. Left hand grab left heel. Make sure you've got full hands, palms grip. Thumbs on the outside. Don't lose the grip. Take a deep breath. Eyes open. Exhale breathing. Stomach, legs, hips, everything. Push forward as far as possible. Everybody push more. Everybody push harder. Make sure back hurts. Exhale breathing. Push, 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 push. Put your hands on your hips. Chest up, spine straight. Push more forward. Inhale breathing. Slowly come up. Stop in the middle. And turn around, lie down, relax on your back. Savasana. Breathe in and out through the nose. That's tremendous benefits in time, mind, body, system. You breathe in and out through the nose. Toes and heels together, flex your feet, keep your heels on the floor, arms of your head, thumbs crossed, arms and head together, inhale, breathe in quickly, sit up, exhale, grab the big toes, double jerk, void of the knees, elbows to the floor. Come to the middle of the towel, please, rabbit pose, sasangasana, knees and feet together, bring the towel on your feet, grab your heels over the towel, thumbs outside, fingers inside, nice, tight grip, please don't lose the grip. Pull your heels as hard as possible. Tuck your chin to your chest. Look at your stomach. Exhale, breathing. Slowly go down front side. Touch your forehead on your knees. Automatically top of the head touching the floor. Exhale, breathing. Eyes open and lift your hips up all the way as high as possible. Roll forward like wheel until your arms, elbows are straight. If there's gap between the knees and the forehead, walk your knees one by one until your knees touch the forehead. Pull harder. Make sure total spine stretching top to bottom. Neck might hurt a little bit. Throat choked, eyes open, pull harder, hips up more, slowly come up. Turn around, lie down, relax on your back. Vasana. Completely relax. Toes and heels together, flex your feet, keep your heels on the floor, arms over your head, thumbs crossed, arms and head together, inhale, breathing quickly, sit up, exhale, grab the big toes, double jerk, void of the knees, elbows to the floor, middle of the towel, please, second set, Sasanga Asana, kneel down, Japanese style, bring the towel on the feet, use the towel, grab the heels over the towel, thumbs outside, nice tight grip, don't lose the grip, pull your heels as hard as possible, tuck your chin to your chest, look at your stomach, exhale, breathing slowly, Go down front side. Touch your forehead on your knees. Automatically top of the head touching the floor. Exhale, breathing eyes open and lift your hips up all the way as high as possible. Roll forward like a wheel until your arms, elbows are straight. Now there should be no gap between knees and forehead. If there is, walk the knees one by one, one by one. Heels together, feet flat, no gap underneath the ankles. Pull harder, stomach in to stretch the spine more. Pull harder, hips up, hips up, hips up. Slowly come up. It's a good one. Turn around, lie down, relax on your back. Relax yourself. Savasana. Start again. Toes and heels together. Flex your feet. Heels on the floor. Arms over your head. Thumbs crossed. Arms on it together. Inhale. Breathing quickly. Sit up. Exhale. Grab the big toes. Double jerk. Void of the knees. Elbows to the floor. Sit facing front mirror, please. Head to knee with stretching pose. Janusharasana with Paschimottanasana. Right leg out cornerwise. And bend your left leg so your heel should touch your costume. Now, if you've got long pants on, you've got to think you're wearing speedo, little bikini, touching costume all the way up. Great pressure with the left foot sole against the right leg, biceps of the thigh muscle. 90 degree angle between the legs like L. Arms up, turn to the right, 
grab the right foot two inches below the toes, all ten fingers into locked position. Pull your toes as hard as possible. Flex your foot so your heel should come off the floor in the air. Then just like rabbit posture, tuck your chin to your chest, look at your stomach and touch your foot on the knee. If you can't touch your foot on the knee, bend the right knee a little bit. You must touch foot to the knee. Bring your elbows down next to the curve. Suck your stomach in. Push the knee down. Forehead touching position. Left elbow down more. Left shoulder down more. Roll inside to the left. Get your head closer with the stomach. Push your knee down. Change. Stretch your left leg out cornerwise. Bend your right leg in. Heel touching costume. Create pressure with right foot sole against the left thigh. Biceps of the thigh muscle. Arms up. Turn to the left. Make sure legs 90 degree angle. Turn to the left. Grab the left foot two inches below the toes. Nice and tight grip. Ten fingers interlocked. Pull the toes. Flex the foot heel off the floor. Tuck your chin to your chest. Look at your stomach. Exhale. Breathing slowly. Go down. Touch your forehead on your knee. Bring the elbows down next to the calves. Now you can bend the knee, boss, if you need to, but you've got to touch forward to the knee. Bring the elbows down next to the calf muscles. Right elbow down more. Right shoulder down more. Try to keep right knee down. Roll inside to the left. Roll in more. Get head close with the stomach. Push the knee down. Change again. Both legs forward. Lie down on your back. Inhale, breathing quickly. Sit up. Then grab the big toes from the top with your index and middle fingers. Look in the mirror. Head up, please. Feet together. Pull your toes as hard as possible. Walk your hips back. Right, left, right, left, right, left. Ten to fifteen times. Ten to fifteen times at least until the both knees are locked. No knees. Flex your feet so your heels should come off the floor in the air. Then only you can bend your elbows. Look in the mirror. Head up, please. Inhale, breathing. Stretch your body forward from the lower spine. Pull your toes back. Inhale, breathing. Stretch your body forward from the lower spine. Pull your toes back. And your goal to touch your head to your feet. Change. Come up. Turn around. Lie down. Relax. Savasana. The stretching posture. Paschimottanasana. Does it matter if you touch your head to your feet? No. Does it matter if you try to touch your head to your feet? Oh, yes. Don't underestimate yourself. Don't let current reality get in the way of what it could be. Try to touch your head to your feet. The whole world going to open up to you. The whole universe is going to open up just by trying. That's all you need. Toes and heels together. Flex your feet. Heels on the floor. Arms over your head. Thumbs crossed. Arms and head together. In our breathing, quickly sit up. Exhale, grab the big toes. Double jerk. Forward to the knees. Elbows to the floor. Sit facing front mirror, please. Second set. Janyasharasana. Head to knee pose. Right leg out, left leg in, heel touching costume, arms up. Turn to the right. Grab the right foot two inches below the toes, ten fingers interlock, pull the toes. Flex the foot, heel off the floor, tuck your chin to your chest, look at your stomach, touch your foot on the knee. Bring the elbows down next to the calves, suck your stomach in, push the knee down, forward touching position. Left elbow down more, left shoulder down more, roll inside to the left, try to keep left knee down, roll in and get your head close with the stomach, push your knee down. Change. Left leg out, right leg in. Make sure you've still got 90 degree angle. Heel touching costume, arms up. Turn to the left. Grab the left foot two inches below the toes. Tight grip. Don't lose the grip. Pull the toes. Flex the foot. Heel off the floor. Tuck your chin to your chest. Look at your stomach. Word by word. You're going to do better. Touch your forehead on your knee. Bring your elbows down next to the calves. Suck your stomach in. Push the knee down with the forehead. Right elbow down. Right shoulder down, roll inside to the right, roll in, create maximum compression of the abdomen and the throat. Get your head close with the stomach, push the knee down, change again. Both legs forward, lie down on your back, arms and head together. Inhale, breathing quickly, sit up, grab the big toes from the top index and middle fingers, look in the mirror, feet together, pull your toes, walk your hips back. 10, 20, 30 times until the both knees are locked, you can do it, flex your feet, look in the mirror. Inhale, breathing, stretch your body forward from the lower spine. Pull your toes back. Inhale, breathing, stretch your body forward from the lower spine. Exhale, pull without interruption, without intermission. Inhale, breathing, stretch your body forward from the lower spine. Look in the mirror, sit beneath, relax the shoulders, bend the elbows a little bit, wrist straight more. That's it, pull harder, pull harder, stretching the spine. Touch it, touch your head to your feet, touch it, touch it. Inhale, breathing slowly, come up. Turn around, lie down, relax yourself, relax yourself.
Toes and heels together. Flex your feet. Keep your heels on the floor. Arms over your head. Thumbs cross. Arms in it together. And now breathing quickly. Sit up. Exhale. Grab the big toes. Double jerk forward to the knees. Elbow to the floor. All right. Please sit facing left side of the room for spine twisting posture. Ardha Matsyandrasana. Bend your left knee on the floor. Left knee facing the left side of the room. Bring your right foot over your left knee corner. Heel touching the knee. Foot flat on the floor. Both hips comfortably on the floor to keep the spine straight. Heel just touching the hip. Point the left toes, left arm over the right knee, elbow against the knee. Now push the knee back with the help of the elbow. Turn your wrist and grab your left knee with your left hand. Look down, make sure hand, knee and the heel in the same spot. And stretch your spine towards the ceiling. Right arm behind you and try to grab the thigh behind you with right hand fingers. As beginner, you can keep the hand on the floor to keep the spine straight. Everybody chest up, spine up. Rib cage open, look over your right shoulder, chin over the right shoulder, look way back over the right shoulder. Now twist your body right side all the way, lower back, middle back, upper back, total spine twisting, top to bottom twist, 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 last chance, twist, change. Bend your right knee on the floor, bring your left foot over your right knee corner, heel touching the knee, foot flat. Both hips on the floor, keeps the spine straight, perpendicular, 90 degree angle, point the right toes, right arm over the left knee, elbow against the knee. Everybody try this, push the knee back with the elbow, push it back, take it literally, turn your wrist, grab the right knee with the right hand, stretch your spine up, left arm behind you, palm facing out, try to grab thigh behind you, try to grab the thigh with the left hand fingers, now chest up, spine up, rib cage open, look over the left shoulder, chin way back over the left shoulder. Stretch your spine up again. Look over the left shoulder. Twist the body left side. Use the arms. A little bit more leverage. Twisting the spine. Lower back. Middle back. Upper back. Look over left shoulder. Make sure neck twisting. Twist. Twist. Keep going. Last chance. Twist. Change. Turn around. Lie down. Relax on your back. It's a good one. Last sit up, make it a good one. Toes and heels together, flex your feet, heels on the floor, arms over your head, thumbs crossed, arms and head together, and now breathing quickly, sit up, exhale, grab the big toes, double jerk, void of the knees, elbows to the floor. Please kneel down, facing the front mirror, couple bhati and vajra asana, blowing in firm pose. This breathing exercise could be the digestive system, internal organs and abdominal muscles. Blow out by your lips, very strong, pull your stomach in and out, no inhale, only exhale. Inhale, automatic. Hands on the knees, arms straight. Abdominal will relax. Shoulders relax. Look in the mirror. Follow me. Begin, please. Enough. Swallow a couple of times. Lick your lips. Relax your shoulders. Hands on the knees. Arms straight. Chest up. Look in the mirror. Relax your stomach. A little bit stronger. A little bit faster. Begin, please. Good job. Turn around, please lie down on your back, final savasana, and take your time. Close your eyes now if you like it. Get very relaxed, very comfortable, very relaxed, very comfortable. Allow the hard work that you just did to absorb at every level of mind-body structure. So you walk out of this class newer than you walked in. Great class. My pleasure to teach you. Have a good day, everybody.